Hello, I'm Sergio Rashbaum. I will present the joint work with Hagita Tilla and Armando Castañela titled Locally Solvable Tasks and the Limitations of Valency Arguments. Okay. Already in the early times of uh, BOTSI in 1989, uh, Nancy Lynch presented uh, a paper describing 100 impossibility proofs for distributed computing. And uh, she observed that uh, the limitations imposed by local knowledge are actually behind all of the arguments that uh, she described. That is, that uh, to prove an impossibility result, one needs to analyze the indistinguishability structure imposed by the local knowledge. And since uh, there have been many impossibility proofs for consensus since then, but actually they are of two styles, a local style and a global style. In the, the global style is the classic FLP asynchronous, one failure impossibility proof. And uh, the global style was used to show that in a synchronous system, uh, one it's t plus one runs to solve consensus if t processes can crash. The local proof style, which started with FLP, has been since then used many times for various tasks like approximate agreement, randomized consensus, concurrent data structures, and so on, in different models of computation like message passing, shared memory, both with uh, read-write uh, operations and with more powerful communication primitives, in synchronous, asynchronous, partially synchronous models, and so on. Uh, re remember how the local FLP style proof works. Uh, at each state, a single configuration of an hypothetical protocol solving a task, consensus in in the original FLP case that holds some property. Uh, then an indistinguishability analysis is performed of the successors of this configuration to derive some local structural properties of the successors determined by the model of computation. And then uh, we use model properties plus the task properties to pick a successor uh, uh, configuration based on the valences on the future on the future decisions of that configuration and uh, an invariant is preserved in, in the FLP case by valency from one configuration to the next one and so on and uh, uh, and this uh, prevents a decision to be reached because a bivalent configuration cannot be final Instead, in the global proof style, what we do is to consider right from the start the set of final configurations of the hypothetical protocol, the set P of final configuration. You do the indistinguishability analysis right there to understand the structure the, the, of that uh, set of configuration P. Uh, typically, you show that these configurations are connected and then using the, this global property, connectivity, plus the task specification, consensus, then uh, uh, one finds uh, that, uh, that one proves that there has to be a, a configuration in P where decisions are, of, are incorrect. So uh, this global proof style, which was used, started to use the early on, became uh, very successful in 1993 where in these three famous stock papers that show that there is no weight free read write shared memory protocol for case set agreement remember that case set agreement is a generalization of consensus where at most k different values can be decide decided so consensus is the case where k equal to 1 and that was the first time 
the topological properties other than just graph connectivity were used to derive an impossibility result. And since, since, since then, the area of using topology to derive impossibilities is, uh, has uh, presented many results for many other tasks. So, uh, if we compare the local style versus the global style, the global style is very powerful because it can be used to determine solvability and complexity of any task as a function of the topological properties of the final configurations P of the protocol. But the difficulty is how to identify a set of final configurations P where the impossibility is forced. Somehow you need to assume a canonical universal protocol that terminates at, after a bounded number of steps. In contrast, the local approach is very flexible because at each moment one needs to analyze only interactions of pending operations in a given configuration. So that's why this approach has been used uh, in many different models. For example, consider a model where processes communicate by reading and writing a shared memory and use and also applying test and set operations. How do you define what is a canonical protocol in this system? So the local approach doesn't need to define a local uh, canonical protocol, just that has to identify, analyze the possible interactions among these operations. So the questions we ask are the following. The local style is very flexible, but so we would like to use it for any task, but are local structural properties of the successor of a configuration sufficient to prove an impossibility for any task? Or maybe there are tasks for which this is, they are not sufficient, like maybe set agreement and renaming. Nobody has found yet a local impossibility proof for set agreement and renaming. And if global structural analysis is unavoidable for some tasks, why can we explain what are the reasons for this? In fact, the very question of what is a local impossibility proof needs to be answered. So this is precisely what we do first to provide a formal definition of a local impossibility proof notion. And based on this notion, we prove that there are, there, nobody has uh, defined local impossibility proofs for set agreement and renaming because it is impossible to do so. I will concentrate a little bit more for this talk for the case of set agreement, but in the paper we also derive the impossibility for renaming. So, uh, to, to do so, we need to define a model of computation. We need to, uh, we, 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 we need to use a weight-free model where processes communicate by reading and writing a, a shared memory. And we would also like the model to have a round structure, which also is a uniform regular structure that can be easily analyzed. Uh, we need to, to be round-based because we want to consider the successors of a configuration and after some number of rounds. The model that we selected is the iterated immediate snapshot model, which has these properties. And we show that there is no local impossibility proof for n minus one set agreement, nor for two n minus two renaming in the IIS model. Uh, the other paper that we know of that uh, considers these questions uh, was published in stock uh, of last year by Alistair Aspensel and Gelashvili and Zhu. And they define a different notion of local impossibility proof through a game between a prover and a verifier in a model that uh, is a non uniform version of our immediate iterated immediate snapshot model which means that processes can take different number of steps and this leads to subdivisions which are not uh, uniform. And they show that in this uh, 
game, uh, there is no local impossibility proof for cases agreement. In our approach, we can also prove the same for renaming. That's one difference. And the other difference is that uh, leading, dealing with uniform subdivisions, with uh, uh, executions where always processes take the same number of steps, are simplifies uh, both the technical presentation and, and, the, def and the definitions. And uh, this is what is usually done in when one proves a task impossibility resolve, because recall that we can always assume that uh, the protocols terminate after the same number of rounds are, provided that the number of possible inputs to the task is finite, such as in set agreement. Okay, so uh, to, to get a little bit more detail into the model that, uh, that we use, we assume a full information weight free protocol that terminates after R rounds. And the protocol, each process gets an input value to the task, set agreement, or renaming, and executes R rounds. And in each round, each process executes an immediate snapshot to a fresh memory. So it's not very important for, for this talk, uh, yeah, but I will illustrate it uh, with the figures now. What is important to remember is that this model is equivalent to the standard weight-free read-write shared memory model with respect to task solvability. A task is solvable in the iterated immediate snapshot model if and only if it is solvable in the usual weight-free model. So we need to consider configurations, that is global states, which a configuration is simply a set of local states which we will call it a simplex, following the traditional topology notation. Uh, and uh, in the case of three processes, so you have three uh, configurations con consist of three local states, which are represented by a triangle, where the vertices of the triangle are the local states of each of the three processes that we draw by, we, we, we draw by green, black, gray, and white in this example. One thing that is nice of, of this view is that you can consider partial configurations. The sigma prime is consists of the local states of only the black and the gray process. And then you cons can consider many configurations, sets of configurations, which uh, we call a simplicial complex. And uh, if you have two configurations where the local states of, say, the gray and the white process are the same, then you identify the two configurations, and you can draw them nicely as two triangles sharing an edge. This is the example of the initial configurations for two process binary consensus, where uh, uh, the, the ID, is, you have a black and a white process. The success of after R rounds uh, of an R illustrated in the in the figure when you have a, a simplex an initial simplex sigma the successors after one round are three configurations depending on the interleaving so who takes the first immediate snapshot then the successor after two rounds and so on and you can consider also successors of partial configurations which for in this example would be solo executions where a process sees only itself. For three processes, this, this, the pictures look like this. You have a, a simplex and you can consider the successors where only the green, the black and the white processes see themselves or you can consider all the successors. Here you can see from one round how the successors of two rounds are, are obtained for each one of the triangles. So the idea is the following, consider an R round full information protocol, the successor operator after one round, and after I rounds, you can consider what are all configurations extending after I rounds, a given configuration. So for a J round simplex sigma prime, you can consider the successor after R minus J round, are the final configurations in the future of sigma prime. And the important notion is the valency of sigma prime, which is the, the set consisting of all decisions at the, in the final configurations extending sigma prime. 
So a local proof consists of picking a sequence of simplexes starting with sigma zero each time that we have selected a sim simplex, say sigma i minus one in the simplex. You analyze the successors after one round of sigma i, and based on the com on the valences of those simplexes, you pick an, a new simplex sigma i plus one in the next round, and it continues in this way until the last round, r minus one, where once you selected the simplex, the simplex sigma r minus one, the protocol is supposed to reveal correct decisions only in this region. In consensus, in fact, we know that the protocol is unable to reveal correct decisions. This is the FLP argument. But we show that for set agreement, actually, the protocol can reveal correct decisions, provided the balances are properly defined. So here is the illustration of the FLP. Uh, uh, impossibility result for two processes. You can select the sequence of sigma zero, sigma one. After two rounds, if the protocol has to reveal these decisions in this region, uh, and uh, there will be at least one configuration where the decisions are wrong, processes dif decide different values. But can you do the same for set agreements? In this example, three processes should decide at most two different values. Can you pick a sequence of simplexes so that in the end the protocol must reveal a, a triangle with three different decisions? Where in that region, what we show is actually that there is no local proof for set agreement, which means that w since set agreement is impossible, there, there must be mistakes, there must be a triangle with three different values, decision values. But a protocol can always hide its mistakes locally no matter which sequence of simplexes sigma i are selected, the protocol is able to reveal correct decisions in the region that you selected. So this is what is illustrated in this figure, where the, uh, for two rounds we select a simplex sigma prime, and then uh, the protocol reveals decisions with our, which are consistent with these valences of sigma prime, and all of the triangles inside that region decide on at most two different values. There is an error because set agreement is impossible, but the error will always be pushed outside of the region that we are locally inspecting. To conclude, we have provided a simple formalization of local style proof in the weight-free round-based iterated immediate snapshot model. We have uh, define new notions of valency task, which is what the protocol has to do to, to do to reveal decisions locally. And local solvability means that uh, the protocol is actually able to the, 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 uh, to reveal decisions that are consistent with the valences. We showed that there are locally solvable valency tasks for set agreement. And this implies that there is no local impossibility proof for set agreement. And we do the same for 2n minus 2 renaming. And technically, we do it through weak symmetry breaking, which is the problem that is equivalent to 2n minus 2 renaming. And this implies that there is no local impossibility proof for renaming. Uh, future work, we would like to do the same for other tasks besides uh, renaming and set agreement in other weight-free shared uh, memory models uh, and uh, of course in models that are not weight-free like T-resilient model where it is not clear how to define bounded termination and in fact uh, it's in models where it is not clear how to define uh, round structure. Thanks for your attention.